What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and I was feeling myself. I was feeling real spontaneous, so your girl got up and went ahead and threw some twists in her hair. These took me about three hours, about three and a half bags of the Havana twist hair, some edge control and hair butter, things of that sort. However, I am very happy and pleased with the results. The triangle parts add the extra needed touch. And no, this time I did not do knotless. However, I did braid the base very lightly and twist. Y'all know I work out a lot so that I thought that will work best for this time and for the time I think it's great especially for beginners so give it a shot I think you'll be happy with how it turns out and all items that I mentioned can be found down below in the information section And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. So y'all, all my OG riders know that back in the day I did a style much like this Havana twist. They were much smaller and they weren't triangle parted and I love the style. The hair is so light and simplistic and easy to put in and install. And I'm using just a nice butter, anything that's moisturizing for your hair. I like to use a mixture of shea butter and like a butter, a creamy butter of my choice. Also some Shine and Jam, the conditioning gel for the insides of my parts, but then the Shine and Jam silk edges for the very edges of my hair. Rat tail comb, you know the deal. Clips as well to hold that hair up. I'm using the finger comb hair and I love this hair the Havana twist hair because it's super light and it feels the most like my own hair however you can use any kind of Marley twist hair or hair that you can get your hands on why because it all to me works the same I just find that this hair lasts a little bit longer and looks the most like my own hair down to the ends but I feel like the Marley Bray hair is just as great of a contender so whatever you have that's what I used whatever I had find the links to different types of hair down below including that Havana hair but make sure that you also prep your hair by shampooing conditioning moisturizing and stretching to your like I don't stretch very much before twist because I want my hair to be as close to its natural state as possible I find that the hair stays better and then for me look parting this thing was a little bit different back in the day I didn't really braid with triangle parts on myself and I braided a lot of other people's hair but honey doing these triangle parts on yourself ain't no punk I feel like most of my time was spent parting I'm just gonna be honest with y'all so this part was an epic fail because it was a little too straight this part was an epic fail because it was just a little too medium and I sound like the girl who broke into the three bears house this part was just just perfect I loved it so you have to like get it right though I went ahead and did it again as you can see because I'm a perfectionist but you want it as clean as possible and then I went in with that conditioning gel the ampro conditioning gel and put it on the very bottom part of my hair what I like about that gel is it's not hard either and it doesn't create buildup so I use that gel a lot on my own loose hair as well so I find it to be great and you see that I'm splitting this hair up a lot because I want it to look most like my own towards the end I don't want the ends to be blunt I want them to be very much more scraggly and go down to more thin at the end like more natural hair right um, and so then I went ahead and braided now y'all told me I need to try those knotless parts that not tonight okay I was just all about getting done so I'm perfectly fine with half an inch to an inch of braid next time I'm definitely going to try knotless but today this is how I was feeling and I'm fine with it also I work out a lot y'all so even the knotless ones when I try them I'm going to see how they work but I work out so much and I don't like sliding braids so this seems to work really well for me but if you want to do knotless I'm pretty sure it will work with these triangle parts you might have to get a grip on it 
and work on it a little harder, but I think you'll be just fine. And so I made sure that I twist down to the ends. I know it's easy to think that you should twist to the sides you are going to do these in, but I find these unravel just a little bit until you seal them. So you'll wanna twist as tightly as possible all the way down to the ends, all the way down. Not halfway, not just some sticking out. Y'all twist to the end because it's going to unravel a little bit anyway. Now, I also learned that you have to part these triangle parts opposite of one another, and that's something to get used to as well. The parting part is going to take a little time to get used to, but you'll see here that I'm doing pretty much the same thing for the rest of the row of the hair. I just wanted you guys to see how I was parting it on my own. I was proud of myself because I wasn't really even using the mirror. I was using touch, the gift of touch and knowing where my scalp is. I'm very in tune and in touch with that thing. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right, but don't get it twisted. Mama did have to pull out her nice little handy dandy hand mirror every now and again to make sure things were going okay back there. I really don't care if somebody is looking that close to the back of my head and they see a hair out of place. They need to see it because they looking too hard, okay? When you look too hard, that's what you get, okay? Um, so I went ahead and twisted that all the way down once again. I sped that up for you guys just so you can see how that goes. And I'm gonna follow that so that you can see all the way to the end of that row. I'm not gonna do the whole row, but I want you guys to see what the end of that row ends up looking like. And yeah, I did pull out that hand mirror like I said. That is what we're looking like very clean nice parts and everything looks in line so i went ahead and parted out that next row and i got started in much the same way uh, once it was done it looked like so now i found one hard thing is making sure that you kind of make make time and effort for ensuring that your parts are equal because some of mine are just not equal and it's just the size and the shape of my head is big in the middle like an egg and then at the top we're not gonna go into that but make sure that you kind of take time to look at how your parts are gonna have to go now on my edges I was real careful y'all know how I am about edges I do not play around about your girl's edges okay can't be losing them I'm getting older now I can't play around with edges because they don't come back as quickly so you know be careful with that I like to part those really big so I just wanted you guys to see how I was doing that and I parted them really big and I do start off with a tighter uh, braid to the scalp and a twist but it's not as tight as you might think I try to make it look tight with the product as far as the conditioning gel and the edge control but also just making sure that it's twisted but knowing that it's going to unravel just a little bit you don't want those edges too tight but I do suggest that you go a little larger with those even when I wear smaller braids I request or I have when I do my own braids I make sure that they're as big as possible and when someone else does them I do the same thing so be careful and be cognizant of your edges and this is how that row turned out up to the middle now guys this is where it got funny because I was nearly done with my hair I couldn't believe that it wasn't taking me that long and my edges were looking good everything was looking I mean as expected they weren't as small as my other twists but I like these just the same honey they just trying to get me through <laughs> through the days for the next month or so and making sure that I can work out with them still get to them and moisturize and condition them but look at those parts I was so proud of the parting job yes I did this myself they asked me if somebody came in and did it you know nobody did it I did it myself pat yourself on the back if you get triangle parts correct on yourself now this is a key part I always dip my twist because those ends though they will hold for a while they will come loose so dipping them in hot water is good because it helps to seal the end nicely doesn't make it super hard or anything but it does help to hold them together and then I just keep a towel handy to make sure that I collect any drippings because I don't like burning myself it's just not a good feeling so I went to sleep after that y'all I was tired and then this is the next 
next day like my hair was so nice it oh my god it felt so good I went ahead and put on a few little I call it hair candy I just went ahead and put in some of that ribbon that gold ribbon as well as some of those little cuffs if you're interested in those those are in my Amazon shop so I have a link to them down below if you want to find them there uh, but yeah this is what they look like the parts were amazing and you know your girl can't have her hair down too long so I wanted y'all to see how it looks pulled up this is how I sported it yesterday got so many compliments of course people like what kind of braids are those and I'm like I don't know you know they just took me three hours and I'm excited thank you Jesus so I guess you can call them Havana twists but these came out amazing guys if you're going to try them out let me know down below make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video his information can be found down below in the information section Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.